Ferguson police pull over 15 drivers in the first 12 hours of temp tag Tuesday. It's a new crackdown on expired temp tags. Police say most drivers got warnings. Only one received a summons. New at 10, Fox News Andy Banker with the alarming number of expired tags and a potential game changer. It started with the first shift of the day. The five or six officers on patrol here paying special attention to drivers with expired tags or no tags at all. And it has been a target rich environment. We saw cars with tags expired by more than a month, by more than a year, by more than two years, or with no tags at all. Nearly a dozen in about an hour, just in Ferguson, where police had pulled over nearly a dozen drivers by early afternoon. The efforts are not gonna stop any other day of the week. It's just Tuesday is something that we are going to focus on. It is a pretty prevalent violation that we see. Missouri's new motor vehicle financial responsibility law is supposed to make temp tag abuse a thing of the past. It will require auto dealers to collect and remit sales taxes as part of a vehicle sale, meaning you pay the taxes when you buy the car. Right now in Missouri, you get temp tags without paying sales taxes, which are roughly $1,600 for a $20,000 vehicle. You only pay the taxes when you go to the DMV for actual license plates. The new law's proponents say there will be no point in driving with expired temp tags anymore if you've already paid the sales taxes when you bought the car. The final look will be you, you'll pay the sales tax at the dealership. They'll issue a temp tag that's 10 to 15 days, and that will ultimately trigger the Department of Revenue to mail you your license plates. Police say cars with expired temp tags are no tags are often connected to reckless driving incidents like this one. The governor is expected to sign the temp tag law soon. It will take effect in August. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.